you will now read a story about a woodcutter and a fairy. After you finish reading this story, you will need to answer a few questions. Once upon a time, there was a woodcutter who lived near the banks of a river. Every morning, when the birds would start singing, the woodcutter would go to the forest to cut wood. The woodcutter would then sell the wood and go home in the evening. The woodcutter did not cut the trees which had nests of birds. He was kind to birds and animals. One day, as the woodcutter was cutting a tree, his axe fell into the river. The woodcutter started crying. The river fairy heard him and appeared. Why are you crying? The fairy asked the woodcutter. My axe is in the river and I cannot swim, said the woodcutter. Wait, I'll get your axe, said the fairy and dived into the water. The fairy brought out a golden axe. Is this yours? asked the fairy. No, my axe is not so nice, said the woodcutter. The fairy brought out a silver axe. Is this yours? asked the fairy. No, my axe is made of wood and iron. The fairy brought out an iron axe. Is this yours? asked the fairy. Yes, it's mine, said the happy woodcutter. I knew that you were kind to birds and animals. You're also honest, said the fairy, happy with his answer. You did not lie when you saw the gold and silver axes. Take all the three axes as a gift from me. Moral of the story Honesty is the best policy. Let's listen to a conversation between the fairy and the children in Ronnie's house. Hello children. I am the noun fairy and today we will learn about naming words also known as nouns. We will find many naming words or nouns at Ronnie's house. Let's go to Ronnie and see what he's doing. Oh, he's having lunch with his friends. I think there's a party going on. Guess what? Today is his birthday. I'll go and wish him happy birthday. Hi Ronnie, happy birthday to you. Thanks a lot, fairy. Are these your friends? Yes, this is Mona. This is John. This is Ahmed. And this is Sumant. Hi! Hi! Hope you are all having a good time. Yay! Yay! Ronnie, let me tell you a secret. You know, you have a lot of nouns in your home today. Nouns? What do you mean by nouns? Nouns are naming words, Ronnie. All the names of people are called nouns. Oh, so the names of all my friends are nouns. That's correct, Ronnie. You want to know more about nouns? Wait a minute. Where do you all stay, children? I stay in Nether Square. We, we stay in Binagar. I stay in the rest station. Thank you, children. Do you know what's special about all these names, Ronnie? Not only are the names of all your friends nouns, but even the names of the places they live in are nouns. Again nouns? But why? 
the names of places are also called nouns. All these places, Netha Square, B Nagar, and West Station, are all naming words or nouns. They tell us where your friends stay. You know, last week I went to a zoo with my family. We had nice time going around and looking at the animals. Which animal did you see in the zoo? I saw a lion, tiger, elephants, deer, peacock, lots of monkeys and many other animals. Do you know what's special about all these animals you've seen in the zoo? Nouns, Nouns again? again? Right, you are. These names of animals are also called nouns. We, we have, have so, so many, many nouns, nouns around, around us. us. Come, let me show you my house. This is my dad's study table. He does his office work on this table. And this is my mom's sewing machine. She stitches clothes on this. Oh, and this is my brother's bicycle. He goes to school on this. Here is my grandpa's walking stick. He walks with his stick as he is old now. Ronnie, do you know what you are showing all your friends? Nouns. These can't be nouns, can they? The names of things are also nouns. Like the study table, swing machine, bicycle, walking stick and so on. So remember children, the names of people, places, animals and things are called naming words. Remember how you read the story and answered questions? Now, you need to listen to a conversation. After listening, you need to answer a few questions. Rita is doing her homework. Someone rings the doorbell. Rita opens the door to see her class teacher, Miss Rose, standing outside. Good evening, Rita. Good evening, Miss Rose. Please do come in. Thank you, Rita. Have you finished your homework? No, Miss. I'm reading the lesson you taught today. That's good, Rita. I have come to talk to your mother. Is she at home? No, Miss. She has gone to the market. Will you give her this book? I had taken it to read. Yes, Miss. Is it a storybook? Yes, Rita. It is a story about our country. Mother reads me a story every night. I will ask her to read this to me too. That's a good idea, Rita. It's a very good book. I will ask her when she comes home. Yes, do that. I must leave now. Good night, Rita. Good night, miss. Thank you for bringing the book. You're welcome, Rita. Rhyming words are words that sound alike. Cat, bat and mat sound alike. So do fight, bright and light. Rhyming words are also used in poems. Here's a poem. But some words are missing. <laughs> 